Let's look at a couple of different position time graphs and see if we can figure out what the object is doing. Okay, we'll start with this graph. Okay, the first question was, what type of graph is it? It's a position time graph. A position time graph tells me where I am at any given time. Second thing we look at is the numbers. What do the numbers tell us? Well, at zero seconds, I look up here and it says I'm at positive two. Positive two meters east. So I must be, if this is the start, I'm over here. We said forward or positive was this way. So I'm at positive two meters. At two seconds, I look at the graph, I go up here and look at where I am. I'm at positive two, so two meters east. So I'm in the same spot. So I must not be moving according to this graph. I'm in the same position at zero seconds as I am at two seconds. The third thing we do is look at the slope. So if we take the slope, you probably know that a, a slope like this would be positive, a slope like this would be negative, and a slope like this, horizontal, is zero. The, so the slope here is zero. And the slope of a position time graph is velocity. So my velocity is zero, I'm at rest. So the numbers and the slope agree. I'm at two meters, I'm at rest. Let's look at a slightly more complicated graph. In this one, I've got a line sloping down, which means the slope is going to be negative. And the slope here is negative, and the slope here is negative. And even though this is below the axis, the amount of the slope is still the same. So the number I get for here is going to be the same as the number for here. It's one continuous line. So first, let's look at what type of graph it is. It's a position time graph, which tells you where you are at any given time. So let's look at the numbers. At zero seconds, I'm at four meters. Positive four meters, four meters forward, so I'm over here. At two seconds, I go up to the graph and I read, and I'm at two meters. So I'm still forward, positive two meters. If this is the start, I was at four meters, I'm now at two meters. I'm moving backwards. At four seconds, where am I? I read across, I'm at zero meters. So if this was the start, I was at four meters, I was at two meters, I'm at zero meters. I'm moving backwards because I'm moving that way. And we said that way was backwards. At six seconds, I look where I am and I go across the graph and it looks like I'm at minus two meters. So the zero, I'm at minus two meters, I'm over here, I'm still going backwards. So this is an object moving backwards. But let's look at how it's moving backwards and that's the third question, the slope. Well, I can take a slope here, um, I can make a triangle out of this part of the graph and use that as my rise and the rise is how big that is and that's obviously four. And the slope's going to be negative but this height is four. Uh, the run here is going to be four seconds, so my slope is my slope is the rise over the run. If you do the, the math, it's going to end up being four over four. It's going to be negative, so we get uh, negative one. Negative one. What are the units? Well, this is in meters. This is in seconds. Rise over run meters per second, which is what I expect because it's supposed to be a velocity. So, what does the negative tell us? Well, I'm moving at one meter per second. Which one am I moving? Backwards. I'm moving to the left. So uh, the velocity for this graph is one meter per second backward, which agrees with what I was saying. I said that this object was over here, over here, here, and then there. So I'm moving backward at one meter per second. And if you look, the slope is negative one meter per negative one here, negative one here, negative one here. It stays the same. So I must be moving backwards with uniform motion. Let me clean these off and we'll do one more. Let's look at what this position time graph is telling us. All right, the first thing we ask is what type of graph it is. Position time graph, which tells us where we are at any given time. And I'm going to look at the numbers. At zero seconds, I'm at negative four meters. In this case, since positive is east, then I'm four meters west. So if this is my start, I must be over here, four meters, negative four meters. At two seconds, I look at this and I see I'm at zero meters, which is here. So I was over here, negative four meters, and I'm over here at zero, so I'm moving forward. This looks like a graph of something that's moving forward. At four seconds, I'm at positive four meters. So I'm moving very quickly. In, in two seconds, I've covered four meters. So uh, positive four meters is over here. So I was at negative four meters, then I was at zero, and I'm at positive four meters. This whole section here is moving forward. Let's take a look at the slope. Well, I can draw a triangle anywhere here. So if I made a triangle out of this part, I can see the rise was four, and the run 
was, uh, well, 4 minus 0 is 4. The run is 4 minus 2, which is 2. So 4 divided by 2 is going to give me positive 2. The slope here equals positive 2. Positive means forward, which is east, and the units are meters per second. So the velocity there, which is constant, it stays at that same velocity, is 2 meters per second forward. So I know for this section it's 2 meters per second forward, which agrees with what I was saying. I started over there, ended up here, and ended up over here. Okay, let's look at the next section, see what the numbers tell us. At 4 seconds, I'm at positive 4 meters. At 6 seconds, I'm at positive 4 meters, so I'm in the same place, I must not be moving. And at 8 seconds, I go up and I read the graph, and I'm at positive 4 meters. So at 4, 6, and 8 seconds, I'm in the same place, I'm at rest. So how would I describe this? I would say between 4 and 8 seconds, I'm at rest. Let's look at the slope. Well, I don't have to calculate the slope. I know that this is a positive slope, this is zero slope, and this is negative slope. So the slope here is zero. And the slope is the velocity, so in that section, velocity is zero meters per second, which agrees with what the numbers were telling me I wasn't moving. Let's look at the third section. Well, the third section, the slope is negative. I can calculate that. I can also look at the numbers at eight seconds. I go up to here, I'm at positive four meters. I'm over here, positive four meters. At 10 seconds, I go up and I read it, I'm at positive two. This is zero. I was at positive 4 meters, I am at positive 2 meters, and at 12 seconds, I'm back to 0. So I must be moving backwards in this case, because I was at positive 4, positive 2, 0. Let's take the slope, I make a triangle out of this, and the slope is rise over run. In this case, it's going to be 4, and the run is the distance from the time from 8 to 12 seconds, which is 4 seconds. So the rise is 4, the run is 4, so my slope in this section is equal to negative 1, 4 over 4. And it's meters over seconds, so it's going to be meters per second. So my velocity in that section is 1 meter per second, but it's backwards now. Which in this case, actually I probably should have written west um, instead of 4. This should have been uh, east. But nonetheless, um, I'm going one meter per second backwards, which agrees with what I was saying. At eight seconds, I'm at positive four meters. At 12 seconds, I'm at zero. So I've moved backwards. How I've moved backwards? Uniform motion at one meter per second.